Hi everybody, my name is Paul Webb from Berwick Ford and we're going to be making some videos for you uh, as like a virtual delivery for you for your new car. Due to the current situation with coronavirus in the world, obviously we need to keep our distance from each other. So this will hopefully help you uh, learn some features of your new car. So first feature we're going to look at is adaptive cruise control for Ford Ranger XLT with technology pack, the Ford Ranger Wild Track, the Everest Trend and also Everest Sport and Everest Titanium. So these are the buttons on the right hand side of your steering wheel for the adaptive cruise control. The top left will actually allow you to turn the system on and off and there's also your cancel button. The middle rocker button um, are the arrows to adjust the gap between you and the car in front. And then the bottom right hand button sets the speed. You've got your plus and minus to adjust the speed and then the resume allows you to resume the speed if you've previously cancelled it. In the right hand screen on your instrument cluster, this is where uh, you actually find uh, the graphics once you've turned the uh, cruise control on. So if we press that top left hand button to turn the system on, so then immediately you can see uh, the cruise control symbol just there, the word set, and then the graphic of the car with the white lines to indicate the distance between you and the car in front. Once you've pressed the bottom right hand button to set the speed, that will then be displayed on the screen um, in where the word set currently is. So with the graphic of the car, where you've got the white lines, you use the middle set of buttons to adjust that, um, that gap. If you press up, you'll reduce the gap. And then if you press down, you'll make the gap bigger. Important thing to remember with the braking of the adaptive cruise control on Ranger and Everest, is that it will only break you down to about 25 kilometers an hour and then you have to take over braking. So yeah, just a, re a refresher for you. Top left, on and off. Middle buttons to adjust the gap. Set to set the speed, resume, and then plus and minus for your speed. So I hope you found that useful uh, of how to use the adaptive cruise control uh, on some models of ranges and also Everest. If you have any questions on anything of how that works, uh, please leave them in the comments below or get in touch with us. Look out for some more videos coming soon. Um, I'm going to be doing Sync 3 Entertainment Systems as well, so keep an eye out for that. I'll hopefully see you in the next one.